welcome to Santos Youth Ministries weekday morning prayer in which we hope to bring you a new prayer every weekday morning as long as we're still in isolation. So we expect it to be for all of term two um, and hopefully you will join us along this journey of um, starting the day um, with prayer. It's a great way to start the day, um, to get out of bed, get moving and um, get on the right track with the day. I don't know about you, but I'm really struggling to get out of bed and get started with work. So I'm finding this is a great way to really separate home, which is my bed at the moment, and then work, which is in my spare room next door. So this is how I am I'm moving from one to the other. So today's prayer comes from the UCAT prayer book. Um, they have uh, in this lovely book there are different sections but the section i'm pulling from is um is part one which is my path with god where it provides um a series of prayers that put together form one full prayer for the morning but i want to start by saying that um, it has this some the top 10 important things about prayer and the first one is to make that decision um, to make the decision to pray is the most important thing that you can do. Um, deciding deliberately when you're going to pray, how long for, and what you're going to do um, can really help you um, with, with that choice and with sticking to it. So today, make that decision. Um, hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow um, and the day after. But make the decision to give it a go, whether you pray on your own or whether you pray with us. Um, it's completely up to you. So, today's prayer is all about the, the fact that God knows who we are. God sees us. So everything comes back to that. Um, and this is, um, it, it has a few parts to it. It has a little bit of a moment of silence after the gospel where you can reflect on what you've just heard, what stood out to you. Um, and, and then a final uh, prayer, St. Patrick's prayer, uh, St. Patrick's breastplate to conclude. So we begin as we begin with all prayers. We center ourselves and we begin with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open my senses. Lord, open my lips so that my mouth may proclaim your praise. Lord, open my eyes, so that I may see your works and human needs. Lord, open my ears, so that I may hear your word and the cry of the poor. Lord, open my nose, so that I can distinguish from what is alive and from what is dead. Lord, open my understanding so that I may understand you and your words. Lord, open my heart so that I may make room for you and seek and find you in all things. Lord, open my hands so that I may receive from you and cheerfully give to people. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. At that time, Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. So I invite you now to just take a few moments just to reflect on that and to offer up any prayers for the day that you may have.
Today in particular, I will be praying for all of those healthcare workers and all those people who work in our hospitals who um, are anxious and um, and worried, well, anxious, worried, um, and, and their families who are worried for them. Um, we, I pray that the hospitals are prepared for what um, what is to come, and that you um, are able to care. Um, you're able to be known by these people, and so that they know that they are not alone in this in this battle. So we pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So a prayer for God's protection and Christ's presence. From St. Patrick. As I arise today, may the strength of God pilot me, the power of God uphold me, the wisdom of God guide me. May the eye of God look before me, the ear of God hear me, the word of God speak for me. May the hand of God protect me, the way of God lie before me. The shield of God defend me. The host of God save me. May Christ shield me today. Christ with me. Christ before me. Christ behind me. Christ in me. Christ beneath me. Christ above me. Christ on my right. Christ on my left. Christ when I lay down, Christ when I sit, Christ when I stand, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, and Christ in every ear that hears me. Amen. So may the Lord bless me, protect me from all evil, and bring me to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So thank you very much for joining us this morning, or joining me this morning, um, as I um, begin my day with prayer. I hope that you join us again tomorrow. It will be me again tomorrow, um, but... Very soon we will have some other people joining us um, to make these videos. Um, if you would like to, just as a reminder, get a copy of this book. It's called the UCAT Youth Prayer Book. It's part of the UCAT series, which is the Youth Catechism or the Teachings of the Catholic Church. It's a really wonderful book. It holds all our traditional prayers and some modern ones as well. Um, but to finish off, I just want to offer up um, an option for you to join me in journaling while we pray. So after this prayer, after this video finishes, I'm going to take a few moments to um, to write a write a little bit. So five ten minutes just to write down my thoughts and my prayers um, in a in a prayer journal that I'm starting in particular for this um, this series of videos that we're doing. And today I invite you to to respond to that gospel reading. Um, where Jesus said to Nathaniel, I see you. Um, and I want you to maybe spend some time thinking about a time where you have really felt seen, um, whether that has been seen by God or whether that's been seen by friends, family, teachers, colleagues, anyone. I want you to really think about, about that and um, reflect on that. So when have you felt seen? So please feel free to join me in... Um, a daily or week daily anyway prayer journal um, we will be including prompts each day as well 
So again, thank you for joining us, or joining, yep, yeah, joining us, and I hope that you join us again soon. Thanks, bye.